I'm a native New Yorker, although I came from Washington today working in HRC. But um, the last time I was here in New York, the last time I was here at Stonewall was to celebrate marriage equality. And I remember walking down from the community center, which was a wonderful celebration, to here with several couples that actually were married that day. And how wonderful it was to be here at the Stonewall Inn to share in their joy and their pride and their love and to see people cheer walking down the street and cheering as they walked into the Stonewall Inn and how we all felt like we were a family here at the Stonewall Inn and how a bar like the Stonewall or any bars in our community especially are places where we feel more comfortable and where we feel home. And I've had drinks here, I've laughed with friends, I've cried over lost friends here at the Stonewall. I've, I've stood outside and sat in the sidewalks and protested against police the 25th anniversary of Stonewall here in front of the Stonewall. This is a very, very special place and it feels great to be home with old friends and new friends welcoming here into Stonewall, so thank you. <clears throat> it was said before, obviously, that, that this place here, the Stonewall Inn, is so important because there was police violence and police brutality and unfair police raids. Well, it's not just in New York, it's not just at Stonewall, it happens all across this country. There are unfair police raids on LGBT establishments recently in Houston, and in Fort Worth, in Atlanta, Georgia. It has to stop, it's happening everywhere, and we have to fight it together. Our opponents of fairness, our opponents of equality, they seek to divide us. They are seeking to divide the GLBT community and communities of color. Recently, the National Organization for Marriage, a controversial secret memo about how to oppose marriage equality, they said, we're going to fight this. We need to divide the African American and LGBT communities. We have to seek to drive a wedge. That's how we're going to defeat marriage equality, a secret memo. But we're saying no to that. We're saying no because we know that we share our humanity, our communities intersect and overlap, and we're going to say no to that now and forever. I know that I'm proud to be here with all of you. I'm so proud that in North Carolina, the NAACP of North Carolina took a leading role in fighting against Amendment 1, a leading role. Reverend Dr. Barber led that fight against Amendment 1, brought our communities together. The SEIU 1199 is taking a lead in Maryland and supporting Marylanders for marriage equality, sitting at the table working hard to fight to protect that marriage equality law that was passed by the legislature. We know that Al Sharpton, Reverend Sharpton, a leader in the fight not just in New York for marriage equality but across this country. We are united. We are working together. There is no stopping us today or forever.